have to thank you for for doing this. This is unique. I know I probably went over time limit on some of the questions because nobody really ever asked me these uh, for many, many years, and nobody probably will. For over 20 years, the Peace Corps Oral History Project has recorded the experiences of returned Peace Corps volunteers in their own words, starting with their decision to apply, their pre-service training, and through their experiences on-site, close of service, and return home. In doing so, these oral histories have preserved stories of service, not through dry statistics, but through the vibrant relationships the volunteers have formed with the people in their host countries and the experiences they've shared together. There's so much more. <laughs> Had such an impact on your life. Tell one more anecdote. The thing that I enjoyed about my Peace Corps service was being able to be a bridge at, at so many levels. I think just keeping those bridges open and uh, those lines of communication open is what makes us have a lasting impact. As return volunteers, we are all eager to share our stories, but reflecting on life-changing experiences can be both emotional and challenging. So who better to help us navigate these memories than other members of the Peace Corps community? As return volunteers themselves, oral history interviewers are able to provide support and guidance to interviewees before, throughout, and even after their interviews are completed. In 2020, following a new partnership with the Louis B. Nunn Center for Oral History, we began recording video interviews online. This opened the door to recording interviews wherever a person may be. And in just a few short years, volunteer interviewers more than doubled our archives, bringing in over 900 new oral histories to the Nunn Center. By partnering with other groups, the vision of what the Oral History Project can do has continued to grow. For example, in collaboration with the Museum of the Peace Corps Experience, we produce the Many Faces of Peace Corps video, which highlights experiences of underrepresented volunteers and adds more diversity to a collective Peace Corps story. My second situation in the Philippines, they were expecting a white volunteer. So having me come there was like, who is this? <laughs> like, is she American? A discussion guide was created and made available on our website, allowing Friends of Fiji and RPCVs of New Jersey to use the Many Faces video as the anchor for a discussion on diversity, equity, and inclusion in the Peace Corps. As COVID-19 disrupted service around the world, we created a new archive of evacuated volunteers to capture this collective experience almost immediately. This led to a partnership with Professor Olivia Donaldson, who created an interactive virtual exhibit and documentary showcasing these interviews. And she's like, she gives me the link. And sure enough, that banner at the top talks about evacuation. Look at my eyes. You see how big my eyes are? I was like that. I couldn't believe it. We continue to seek new partnerships to better share the Peace Corps story. Friends of the Dominican Republic is working on a comprehensive project to interview volunteers from each year and group since 1961. To date, over 130 volunteers have requested an oral history interview. Friends of Benin wishes to explore archiving the difficult experience volunteers faced during and after an attempted coup in 1977. A video on Peace Corps Ukraine is in development to draw attention to our friends in conflict. And we are very excited about our newest initiative to interview host country staff members and counterparts whose stories are just as important as those of volunteers. I really would love to continue um, working together with this organization because I can see that it's a very influential organization and they really do help. Our interviewers work closely with professional archivists to ensure these stories are preserved using the highest ethical standards. Through the Nunn Center's innovative indexing process, these interviews are readily available to anyone, whether they be researchers, authors, future and return volunteers, podcast hosts, discussion groups, and more, thereby fulfilling Peace Corps' third goal, to help promote a better understanding of other peoples on the part of Americans. Thank you very much, Jay, and I appreciate this. I think you're doing a real service. Well, thank you, America, for bringing uh, Peace Corps and volunteers to Fiji. We need them. We need them. To learn more or to sign up to be interviewed, please visit our website at peacecorporalhistory.org.